Hello, my people. So I finished the hat. This is the uh, episode four, the very last episode of Mad Hatter series in which we were learning how to make a coiled hat from art yarn. So this hat uh, was a little bit challenging because I had a lot less yarn. I had a little ball of yarn. If you'll go back to you know the first episode, I think I showed you my ball of yarn is like that big, maybe a hundred yards, maybe. I thought it was like 120, it was like maybe 120. Anyways, um, I was, I did the hat, I finished it and then I was like, well, it's kind of like a little skull cap. Maybe it, it kind of needs a brim or something. So I had knit this little headband thing. And so I just attached that on there. So then I was like, ah, should it be a beret? Or should it be a brim? I think I'm gonna brim this out. I don't think I'm gonna felt it maybe a little bit more, firm it up. But um, I kind of like it on there and it gives me more coverage, you know, so I'm not just, just on the very top of my hat. Cause this hat uh, goes down. Wow, well, look at my hair is all messed up. This one goes much lower, so I have more brim to play with and do things with. And you know, I like to play with stuff. So, um, but I just simply did not have enough of this yarn. Although this beautiful yarn, um, I don't know if you're picking up the sparkly in this, but there's a lot of like Angelina uh, fiber in here. I hear some, it eh, doesn't even show up, but um, it's uh, got some a lot of sparkle to it. So I wrapped it around. Also, I thought it might make it more stable this time since the, this has so many thin, thin pieces because it's a thick and thin spun yarn. I thought maybe if I put some of them over, don't do that. It doesn't look as good as, uh, it was okay for this because I had pieces that were um, crocheted and stuff. But this was, by and large, just kept going on and on, so you keep the same look. I should really stop. Oh, jeez. People sending me messages while I'm filming. I should really turn off my notifications. Anywho, so I attached this so I needle felted it in, which also makes this hat way more stable um, because it's just, it's not as much wool. And so it cannot be as stable. So you need more wool. So how did I do it? How did I needle felt that in? Well, remember last time I was showing you how to make a little hat form. It turns out pretty good, doesn't it? Especially when you have the um, paper that goes out. I thought about, wow, I could even put more foam right here across to really make a solid brim for a nice hat form. And then, so I just put this hat on there. I'll back up so you guys can see it. Oh, I'm doing some other, I'm putting some soles on some purple shoes here. So then when this is all on here, especially since remember, I've got a layer of wool underneath, see? So then, in fact, if you really wanted to cheat and make this crazy easy, you could needle felt over a knit hat and just wrap it around and then you'd be totally secure. Um, but that would be kind of cheating. Um, this is really the gold standard, I think. I mean, you might not like these colors, but use a thick yarn, a real chunky yarn, and just one row after another, marry them like that. That's the way to do it, but you can't rush that. And I was kind of trying to rush it for you guys, sorry, but you just can't rush. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have to come up with other solutions to inevitable problems. However, that does bring me to a point. And the point is this. Every project is different, and every this is a radically different looking hat than my other hat, which is good. I wanted a radically different hat, but um, 
But the thing is, don't get married to one idea. If your idea is not working out, if, if the way, you know, I started thinking, well, I could just wrap this around here and just, you know, wet felt it and it wasn't, <laughs> didn't work out that way. So adapt, okay? Adapt and overcome. That's what art is about, is you coming up with the problem, problem solving it, and at attacking it in stages. So I, I hope I've given you some good tools. I think the best thing that came out of this really was how to make a hat form. Because <laughs> I did not have a hat form before that. Now I have an awesome hat form. I can put more uh, foam right here. Or I can even paper pull this thing. Although I'm not sure how my needle would react to paper pulled paper. But it might be fine. Or I might just put regular. I don't know what I'll do next. But we'll see. But I do kind of like the idea of making more hats with brims. I mean like with real brims that come out. So, um, so that's that. If you have any questions about the whole weird process of just coiling around in needle felting, I, I don't think it's rocket science, but if you should come up with a question that I have not addressed, please feel free to message me down below. Um, I do get those, like, you know, if I'm online, I, I don't usually... I'm usually online every day, except for like Sundays, but or if I have like a lot of company. But usually I'm online and I'll get them and they actually come on my phone. So not that I'm addicted to my phone or anything. I'm pretty bad at responding to my phone. But if I'm on the phone, because I look at my son's uh, e grades on the phone, then I'll see your email and I'll go, oh. Probably the worst, most inconvenient way to contact me is through my old non-existent Etsy shop. Okay, I shut down my Etsy shop. I'm not selling anything. So um, people still message me through those and I message back, but it, it's cumbersome. It's delayed. So, you know, shoot me a message um, either on, on my Will and Be Facebook or right down here is really the best place, right in the comments section. And I definitely get those. Google alerts me. You know how Google is. <laughs> they will find you. <laughs> anyway, I got to stop now because, whoo, this stuff is super stinky. Aren't these beautiful boots? These are beautiful boots that I did not make. I bought those a long time ago. But remember my other boots? My, um, my steampunk boots. And then I later, I put a different... Um, kind of Catholic motifs on the back of them. I put a, a beautiful um, Celtic cross on one, and I put a uh, image of uh, Blessed Virgin Mary from like Romans chapter 12 in there with the stars, you know, with the 12 stars around her head. And my son, who's converting to Catholicism, is also my shoe size now and he's taken over on those boots so now I'm left without boots with a solid sole and it's snowing outside so I need I needed to put an actual sole on these because these just had like a little flimsy thing people keep asking me about the soles I do not sell the soles anymore I have a stockpile that I'm hoarding for myself <laughs> If I happen to have your size, you can message me. Maybe I'll send them. But I'm really not into going over there and, and mailing things because my profit on those things is like a dollar. So <laughs> it's not highly motivating to me to, to get up and ship stuff. But um, you can get them on Amazon from the Amazon shop. Okay. So there you go. Uh, or not from the, so from the Vibram shop because I got them directly from Vibram. Because I was special and have a special deal. But um, you might want to try to negotiate a special deal with them. Who knows? Maybe they'll offer you a special deal. But um, normally people pay, you know, several thousand dollars to become a distributor. <laughs> so if you're just interested in having like one or two souls for your project, the best thing to do is probably just go directly to Amazon to the Buy Room Shop and order your souls. Okay? All right. Hey, love you guys. Thanks for dropping by. I know you have tons of places that you could spend your time on YouTube. And I love it when you come to my house uh, or in my shop and hang out with me. And um, we'll see what I'll make next. I really don't have anything on the horizon other than to finish my, uh, my holy 
Holy Family sculpture up there. I've got to finish them. That's probably what I'll do next. i got to put some color on Joseph. That's what we'll do next. We'll do putting color on your, your um, non-colorful uh, sculptures. So it'll be a little more needle felting. If you get any kind of wild wet felting ideas, let me know that in the comments too. Okay? All right. Have a fantastic day. Love you guys. Praying for you. Keep up the good work.